Darn technocracy. It's technocracy every time. We'll get you in the ears. Now it's my pleasure to denou- I mean to introduce <clears throat> Say less. For them haters that think this shit ain't for real.
out, people don't know about it. Nevertheless, I know a lot of things that people don't know. I thought they already knew. But then I came to find out they don't know. talking about music, I'm not just talking about musician playing an instrument. Anything is music. You take like a beautiful picture that an artist paints, that's music. Anything that has symmetry to it and when you look at it, it makes you feel it, is music. Because that's what music is all about, feeling. today's stream it is january 13th of 2022 and today we're going to be continuing where we left off with civ 6 we're going to go for a two hour stream today uh like we were meant to i was considering doing a three hour stream but between the time that i woke up this morning and the time it took me to start the stream i didn't get as much editing done as i'd like so i want to try to do more after today's stream so that's why it's gonna be a traditional two hour rather than what could have been the three hour Tuesday streams as I mentioned might move to Wednesdays uh, in which case I'll have plenty of time built to do two hours each uh, Saturday's stream is gonna be a bit weird um, basically this whole week is kind of thrown up around and around because 
really don't know uh, how the schedule is going to go from here. It might grow smaller, it might grow bigger, I don't know. I might be able to do longer streams on Thursdays and Wednesdays, uh, or not even be able to play video games on Saturdays, but be able to do watch along and editing streams on Saturdays. Uh, might not be able to do streams on Tuesdays, but on Wednesdays I can, etc., etc. I'll try to keep you guys posted uh, here, obviously on the live streams, but also on Twitter and through the Discord if I'm ever asked questions there. Anyways, um, like I said, we're continuing where we left off last time with Civ 6. I thought we were playing one, excuse me, it was on Tuesday. Um, we played about an hour and a half or an hour and 40 minutes, I believe. Uh, pretty close to two hours. Uh, playing as Japan. We were going for a... Initially, it was just a science victory. But it looks like we're doing a culture and religious victory. Um, we've already won once. Uh, civilization on stream doing a religious victory is Egypt so maybe we can do it again as Japan uh, I think personally it's the, one of the harder victories to do uh, culture and religion but maybe I'm wrong maybe it is easy or just the way I play ends up being that way anyways um, I, I don't can't think of anything else that we need to say other than I might try on Saturday to do a uh, a short stream but use OBS instead of Streamlabs in case you're unaware I use Streamlabs to stream most of the time I'm aware of the issues to do with Streamlabs and the source code and everything in between for it and Streamlabs OBS and everything like that um, but I genuinely think that the errors and the lag that we see in the streams is coming from Streamlabs and not my computer because I'm able to record stuff on OBS cleanly Without issues, but then if I record stuff on um, Streamlabs, then it lags, and I can't think of any reason why my computer would be the cause for that, and it wouldn't be a software issue, not a hardware issue. I could be wrong. I'd be happy to listen to what you guys have opinions about here, of course, as always. Um, so yeah, Saturday stream might be a little bit wacky. I don't know. It might be a little bit weird. Audio might sound weird. I don't know. But we're going to try something different Saturday. Saturday streams are going to be experimental streams, I think, from now on. I think that's what I'm going to do. They're going to be shorter, but they're going to be more experimental. So there's always going to be some more unique shit to watch. Um, and they'll pretty much just be promotions of the next video that's coming up or something like that. Hell, I might even try recording the streams and using them as... Uh, the recording audio for podcast and stuff like that. Excuse me. Maybe even record scripts on Saturday. I think, yeah, I could record scripts on Saturday and show you guys the process of that shit. Other than that, let's switch over to the streaming screen. Um, of course, I want to remind you to the music we listen to during today uh, is provided by your best friend, Jippy. You can find a link to his SoundCloud on the About page of this channel under FAQ Facts and Questions. For the music that we listen to however if you use the same spelling and spaces as seen on screen right now you can find them on bandcamp um youtube and spotify as well of course previously mentioned soundcloud uh he's not an apple music as far as i'm aware at least i can't seem to find an official account for his music um however he posts more often to bandcamp than anywhere else we just have permission you gained original permission from him for SoundCloud. So um, that's why we have the SoundCloud link. I'm going to change it this weekend. See, so all the links are there. Um, also, I, I've been forgetting to mention this for a while now. If you go to your best friend, Jibby.com, you can buy merch with his, his merch with um, the logos for his albums on them. They're pretty nice. I like the album covers quite a bit, the uh, beat tape covers specifically. I like them quite a bit. Um, they have a retro, futuristic, aesthetic, retrofuturism thing. Um, other than that, let's think about which one we're going to listen to. Last time we listened to Beat Tape 36, which bled into Brazil by Ear 2. Um, why don't we go back again? Let's listen to Beat Tape 33, which is going to bleed into several songs all the way down into Beat Tape 32. So that's Beat Tape 33, Rough Raps for Polymaths. Uh, Valentine's Mix, Make Him Envy, and Beat Tape 32. So we're starting with Beat Tape 
33 for today's stream, and we're going to hopefully end on beat tape 32. If you want to listen to it on your own time, uh, the rest are in Jippy, I mean, as well as the beat tapes we'll listen to during today's stream, you can find a link to a SoundCloud, as mentioned, in the about page of this channel under FAQ, Facts and Questions for the music that we listen to. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit for Jippy, uh, I think. So that way I'm not supremely quiet. I'm also going to move my mic a little bit closer to me. I think that should do it. So it's single player, resume game. Hopefully it's the right game and then it resumes. You have built great cities of stone and seen early empires rise and fall. Soon you will stand under the towering pinnacles of castles alongside your gallant knights. That is where the story of your people will be written. Just as the young apprentice learns to carry a sword, so shall you hmm. grow to understand your place in this world. The great wave of been. Buddhism follows you, Shikinok Japan, Hojo Tokimun. Your people truly understand what it is to practice balance. And even your finest samurai will be well learned and spiritually apt. Be strong. Embrace the divine wind. I think I called this stream the Samurai Showdown. Really, I didn't mean to be. Um, I was just trying to think of an idea really quickly. No uh, harm intentions or bad intentions were implied. Fascist. And like, alright, let's remind ourselves where we were. Um, well, we were hoping to get the iron source over here from Gamu. Could just wait for them to grab it and then just continue being their cesarean and then they'll just, we'll trickle it from them. They'll give it to us along with other stuff. Um, Buenos Aires is in a near constant war with fucking Hatuta and the Germans, I think. We're in a golden era. Nice, we know where a few people are. Whoops, we know where Jerusalem is. Jerusalem is a shithole. In the game. <laughs> I don't know about real life. I don't fucking, I've never been to Jerusalem. Sorry, you guys need to know. Let's go there. All right, we got stuff in motion. Sendai is our religious zone. Allows the purchasing of apostles, gurus, inquisitors, and with the proper belief, warrior monks. These units can only be purchased with faith. Why not? Fuck it. The city's going well so far. I don't think I need to make a water mill. I can work down religion if I want to for now. Um, Russia still has me beat in religion, and it's because of the number of cities that have converted. But that's pretty easy to change. The Candy City State is giving a new quest for Crude Great Artist. And I've discovered a new continent called Valbara. Interesting. Alright, let's deal with this fucker for once. There you go, prick. Do I have any boats left? I don't think I do. I think all my boats are dead. Nope, there's one over here. Is that it? Any more boats? No, I have two. Yes, I do. Holy shit, look at candy. That is disgusting. There is nothing there. Alright, well, no one's going to be friends with those guys except for me. And that is a good diplomacy point, so I will happily, happily become their friends. It's an honor to meet you. Well, you're going to like me. Because I like building boats here. I have medieval walls going now in here. Good idea, I think. I feel like eventually we're gonna have to turn up the fucking heat here on uh, on power level because I have a feeling that some of these people are gonna fucking whack me. I'm not careful. People are stars for knowledge and beauty. Hey, Russia, I got something for you. Uh, fucking suck a mean one, dude. Suck a mean one. Just need to convert more cities. If we, if we get Kyoto, which we're going to get in a few turns here, 
Um, where the fuck did we go? We can go all the way to Machu. I'd imagine the whole world. That might not be a bad idea. You do not need to be. Actually, fuck it. I'll make you a crossbow because I'm gonna need two. I think for a boost on another thing. Build an iron mine. Well, that's not gonna happen for a bit. Pikeman, let's go with that for now. Send an envoy. Jerusalem has none. Mexico City has none. Mexico City wants one. Or wants a um, religious conversion. Candy wants a great artist. Let's go for Jerusalem. Let's make friends with them first. And then let's get candy, like I said. We're gonna go for all the little shit city states that are around us. Um, just for diplomacy points. None of the other guys are gonna give a shit. So, three points for us, I suppose. There's already there's a clan there, and there's this this clan here. Yeah, never accept trades that have to do with diplomacy. Only ever trade diplomacy if you're like in a really tight situation, which we've been once or twice on stream. Um, and I believe those tight situations were we were trying to get great works of art to fill out our museum and it was like the end times for the actual progress of the game all right so you built that temple fuck that was fast okay um you don't really have much around that i can work with uh we could do with a spearman or something here so let's do that since it only takes a turn let's do that you are not where I want you to be. You, you still got a little bit ways to go. I want, I want to be free. Mm -hmm. I could sell this little fella between these olives and rice, but it's so far away from the iron. I want to get between the two rice. That way, I'm not like too too close to Gamu. But I'm close enough to the iron to grab it, hopefully. It sucks, because I won't have access to the river. Or maybe I will. But I don't think I get stuff like aqueducts. Or most of the really good bonuses. I was the first major civilization in Meet Bandar kill. Bunai. Holy shit, really? Trade trebuchet. How am I the first to meet Bandar? Usually Bandar is amigos of somebody already usually Bandar is actually like one of the first city states that I meet I guess we're going for mercs all right well our military is a little bit stronger I guess now if I'm gonna go with um, theater square because fuck you fuck this stupid sheep get rid of the sheep put us at theater square we need that more Train a trebuchet. Okay. I can do that, but I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to get Jerusalem. There you go. Jerusalem is mine. I got two error score for that bitch. And look. Look at all the random units that are here. Where is Banner Bunai? Why is it so... Why is it such a shithole? Why does no one want to talk or interact with these people? Whoa, didn't mean to interact with you. Where is Bandar Brunei? I'm not fucking delusional, right? Why the fuck? Oh, must have been a boat or something. Okay, so you have some sort of relationship. I'm also getting the faith bonus from Jerusalem, which is nice. Your city's with... Holy sites exert pressure as if they were holy cities. Caesarian diplomacy bonus. City state follows you into war. City state lands become friendly territory. You build their units may improve city state tiles. Oh, I didn't know that. See three tiles around the city state can pay gold to temporarily take control. Get ownership. I didn't know that I could actually improve their resources. Fuck me, I'm doing that. Because they could have wine and a bunch of fish. And I don't give a shit. There, okay, what does Buenos Aires have? Oh, fuck. I wish I had thought about that a little bit better because if they had the iron, 
See, if they didn't have the, the, the horses worked right, I could work it for them. And then they would give me the strategic resources for it. But well, they already do, so it doesn't matter too much. Frederick has made peace of. Oh my god, what's happening? Is this city gonna fall? What's happening with all these fucking trebuchets? The Tutsus made peace with Frederick. Tutsus declared war on Frederick. Oh, in one turn they declared war and then made peace. That must have been a quick swap between. Uh. In Caesarean ship or something. Alright, I'm gonna just get rid of that outpost. I feel kind of bad for doing it because I know that it could have been a city state, but. How much you can do that now? Now that I know that I can improve that wine for Gamu, maybe I'll get something out of it. I don't know. I've never done that before. I don't think I've ever worked a tile for a city state. I don't know why you would, but they're good. Other than the strategic resources, I don't know why you do it. Regardless, I can use one one thing on on Gamu and then see what that does, and then I can use the other two charges that are on the builder in the new city that I'm building. I'm gonna have to burn a few fucking a good amount of my pocket change. Sendai is growing fucking big, ten plus. It's good. Boost. Alright, settle there. The Inca, the Masters of the Mountains. Fuck you. How's that sound? How's that sound, Master of the Mountains? How does fuck you sound? Go the granary. Fuck you, again. Yeah, so I'm one tile away from grabbing the iron. I could just buy it next turn, I think, unless it costs me a full fucking leg and an arm. What are you pissy about? Because I have a bunch of cities? Or... What the fuck is your... What was he even pissy about? Is it the placement of the city? I'm nowhere fucking near him. He's talking about the mountains, but I'm not even near the fucking mountains. Shut the fuck up. Delightful songs, inspiring words, the artists, the poets, and playwrights of Sendai all through the streets of our theater square. Strategy requires the Great. Takamatsu is having issues, but it was just built, so who gives a shit? Let's buy that fucking block. Boom. Said 20 turns to get it. Fuck it, I'm not waiting that long. Technically, I would get a boost on this one in a few turns, but. I got nothing else to work towards. Um, so let's do a crossbow here that we'll send over to Takamatsu. Plus one of many from entertainment for each like this tile with one. T what the fuck? Oh. Oh shit. Worth it if I can get it done and built in time. Otherwise. Not worth it. Man, I'm earning four diplomacy doesn't feel like that bad. It feels pretty good to me. It feels it feels like it's actually pretty good. Converted to Eastern Orthodoxy. You would die. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a step back then. The new swarm clan has been destroyed. Okay. Oh, that sucks. I don't like the... This is the only, only version of the game where I actively dislike killing um, any of the barbarians. Sure. I'm not using these horses. I don't have intentions to use the horses anytime soon. It's Buenos Aires has been covered, and so is Gamu. They have my two major sides. Gamu is 
kind of gross because it's spreading its shit out pretty fucking thin here. But all I need to do is hold the two choke points on the left and the right of Takumatsu. And then Buenos Aires just has my whole fucking north covered. And then maybe Jerusalem is worth something, but who gives a shit? Because Kyoto is fucking beefy right now. Or beefy enough that I don't need to worry about whatever boats are rolling around right now. Watch me say this and pay the price in a few turns. I don't know. Tribal village discovered. Holy shit, you... Okay, you're about to convert. You're... Okay, I wonder what you're gonna become. What do we think they're gonna become? What city state could Badger Claw clan become? Got a bunch of Eurekas there. Nice. Um Gamu wants a trade route. Begin a trade route to them. Did they change yet? Nope. Imminent. So that's gonna happen soon, I guess. Uh, what the fuck am I doing here? Okay, so I can't, I can't just kill this. Good to know, I guess. Cursor, cavalry. Uh, quad would be nice, I guess. Just get some more boats out there. More boats out here, the better. This map seems kind of small, but I think that there is more north than I've seen. Nope, not that much. Did I pick a large map? What did I pick? Hold on. I picked a... Pick quick. Don't show me. Oh my god, there's so many fucking boats. I don't understand why there's so many fucking boats out there. It'd be nice when I have that iron. Strong navy. That's a beautiful sight. It is. We've got three boats now. We're doing something. Going somewhere. I should never see it when the armory building. University building. Every building. Every temple building. What a trigger? Can kind of establish city state. Hong Kong, eh? Him that's overcome. It's the first major civ. Good. Space creation. Naval tradition. Perfect. Alright, exploring. We've got nine turns to get. It's a 48. It's not gonna happen, I don't think. Let's get another quad out. Actually, no. What do they want? They want a trebuchet for me, didn't they? Was it a trebuchet they wanted? Oh, I can't build trebuchets. Religious conversion, naval tradition, trebuchet, yeah. That's what they wanted. Great engineer. Yeah, that's not happening. I can't build a trebuchet yet. Or is a siege tower technically an upgrade to a, a trebuchet? I don't think so. Mm. Is a catapult an upgrade to a trebuchet? I don't think so. I am going to... I'm going to shit myself. Cross population of seven or greater. Man, what is my fucking population happening with right now? All right, let's get a builder in here as well. We can get this fucking wheat finally. And 
Maybe work some stuff over between Sendai and Kyoto. Or Kyoto. Kyoto. Don't know. Maybe. I feel like I might be squeezing Gamu a little bit too tight right now. But it might be necessary to squeeze them. So we're gonna we're gonna try and get Candy and Hong Kong on our side as well. Look at Jerusalem. Jerusalem's pretty meaty. They need more boats to be worth anything because all these archers and fucking warriors are meaningless unless something so fucking stupid that they land and invade without shooting those things from the sea. But I don't know if the AI can think that far in advance. They don't see the patterns. Okay, so we're having a meeting soon. Good to know. Oh, there's my samurai. I can establish alliances if I do this. Uh, farm improvements, build six farms. Alliances, we can be temples as well. Ooh, ooh, but I don't have any friends, so it doesn't matter. So feudalism. Bandar Brunei. Do I work towards them first, or do I work towards Hong Kong first? I want to work towards Hong Kong first. Their production as well. It's, it's all right. It's pretty good. Eight turns. We can get we can get that four extra error score. I think. I think we can get there. I have the feudalism civic. Well, I'm working towards it. To build six farms. I, usually, I never have enough space to build six farms. Never progress towards. Did they just upgrade three of their things? Eight requests. Natural disaster. About one, yes. I don't, I don't really care all that much about you. You're on a different continent than me. I don't know you. You're different. Oh, it failed. I don't, I don't give a shit. Fuck you, then. Socks to suck, I guess. Who are you? Ghostfish. I like that. I like that name. What the fuck is this? Is it a frigate? That's a caravel. Okay. Definitely was not a frigate. I, I just said that out loud because my brain was just thinking about what the worst possible scenario would be. And the worst possible scenario that I thought of was a frigate, which is true, because if there's a frigate there, I'd be dead. Just, just keep fucking going around, dude. I even bother with these fellas. So next one we want to get grab cesarean chip of is candy. After candy, we'll go for Hong Kong or Buenos Aires, maybe. I don't know. Fuck you! What do you want? Just fuck off. You don't scare me. I'm not scared anymore. Hmm. Oh, something's happening. These but look at this. What those areas? Look at the. Imagine if we weren't fucking friends with these guys. What well, they're bombard units? I'd be shitting myself, guaranteed. How do I make this clan go away? What do I do? They can't become a city state. So what's the fucking point? Six turns to get four. Okay. I think it's still possible to get into a normal age and not a dark age right after a golden one. Sad. Sucks. It, it sucks that we have to leave this golden age, really. I would like to continue being in a golden age with all the bonuses and everything we get from it. No. Your offer was much more promising than the other ones, though. 
Gold per turn is what I prefer than gold straight up. Even if it's like two gold per turn versus 50 gold right now. Because gold per turn, I can like, in my brain, I can plan shit out a little bit better. If I realize when I'm accumulating, I'm accumulating 3.2 somehow. Record, okay. A is getting fucked up here, like big time. And that's Hong Kong for you, baby. I see it. More error score for us there. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. Doing well. How many charges I got on this bad boy? Two more. I think I might be able to get those six farms. Right? Got one there. I think this counts as a farm. I don't know what counts as a farm, if I'm completely honest. If if those count as farms, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I should be able to get six farms out of this. The current Reef Clan. Preslav. I okay, said someone became Preslav. Oh, that little fella over there. Well, Preslav is usually a city state that I'm friends with. Or I'm friendly towards. Sometimes I get fucked by Preslav. Hmm. I prefer you built me a farm somewhere. Well. I have to, I don't know if cutting down those trees to the left here, to the left of the mountains, will fuck me up. Uh, one benefit, by the way, of streaming on OBS is I think you guys will finally be able to see my fucking mouse. So, it won't look so weird. I gotta figure some more shit out, though, because it makes me a bit nervous that if I switch screens, you can see it. Like, see what's going on. Few inventions have been. I'm gonna figure out how to change that or do something about that. I don't know. Personal biz, you know. Apprenticeship, musket men. Built three mines. Got three mines, baby. Sixty-seven influence points. Wow, we earn influence points quick, quickly. So we now are earning five diplomacy points per turn, which I think is pretty good. It is turn ninety-six, however, so I don't know. Maybe it isn't. I wish I could see what the other guys are generating. I have how much? Well, we can do a trade. As soon as it's our turn, we'll see what other people are working with. There you go. There's our normal age from that harbor. All right, so we got 92. Let's take Peter, for example. He's at the top of the leads. He's got 53. Another top dog would be Germany, I think. 77. And then Incas are having some friends. 52. 67. All right, I'm the most with the diplomacy here. Uh, I could build a lighthouse. Plus one food on all coastal tiles for the city. Plus two housing in the cities adjacent to coast. Plus one trade route capacity if the city does not yet have a market building. We don't have a market building, I believe. No, we don't. So let's get a lighthouse. That's going to be really good for us. Um, let's get the... We want a monument first. Walls. Uh, can hold we I think we can hold off on for a little bit here okay that used that guy up I was hoping it wouldn't but now is that flat enough to build a farm on or what the fuck I wish it would show me progress like five of six or something you know for the farms that would be nice. Like, just hovering over it. You wouldn't have to show me it, like, right then and there. 
would be nice. I could get some farms to talk about too. If I bought a builder, which I think is a bit pricey. Oh, I could get with my inf my fucking faith. I'm gonna do that. There is no easy way. To oh shit! Ends in one turn. Uh, that doesn't matter. It's not what I give a shit about. Never mind. Missionary, let's get that apostle, baby. That missionary. Everything else is good. Hold on, I think. I had to open my door. Alright, well, next turn we'll be able to use you. 13 iron and 70 gold. That's a lot. Let's not worry about you right now. Japanese archer is still 165. Let's get to a pikeman 160. That seems fucking ludicrous. Niter! Let's figure that shit out. My city state friends have already figured that shit out. This is. What are you? Ghost fish. I don't I like your name, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I like the ghost fish and the ghost whatever that we saw before. Man, I haven't done editing in a really long time. That's what it felt weird to get back in the groove. Chosen player receives 100 more grievances, 50% more, fewer grievances. That would be me, please. Thank you. Traded routes sent to the chosen player provide plus four gold to the sender. The chosen player receives plus one traded capacity. That would be yours truly. Let's put a bunch into that one. And uh, one or two in that one. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Trade with me. Mid trades with me, good. Renaissance bitch. Two to one's a trade route. It's not bad. I can do that. But the wrath of Hoachley Poachley was great. Uh, and is the sack. Unmet. But I got the other one. The other one was mine. Okay. It's good. Trade route for Hatutsa. Gambi wants a skirmisher, and Jerusalem wants a general. We got a victory point from that, which is nice. Got three R score from that. Trade capacity increased. Apostle can be upgraded. Okay, let's evangelize the belief. And then let's send this missionary bitch out to Machu Picchu. Or just match you. Oh well. Fuck that builder, I guess, because he's not going anywhere. At least not fast enough. Make a dedication. Oh, most people are in Dark Ages, so I will take that. East Coast ship for the completed trade route. Plus each we discover a new continent. Shimon Convert City. Uh, I'm gonna go with Exodus. It's two error score each time. I think I can do something with that. I guess if you, missionaries, apostles can spread religion one extra time, must be built on flat land just to do a whole season. <gasps> Bitch! It's in the desert too. Fuck you. Alright. We can do something. Plus one envoy at each city state when it first adopts this religion in addition to any envoy from a city state quest. Let's construct some pagodas. Gold from each city following this, for each city following this religion, that is a world wonder. Gold from each campus, for commercial hub districts, allows construction of sagoas. Missionaries, possible plus Muslim, spread. Faith for each era since constructed, allows construction of pagoas, did not favor per turn. Okay, it's between religious unity and mosque. So I get the construction of the mosque, which gets me faith, and missionaries and apostles have plus one threat. So I think I'm gonna go with the mosque. 
that's that's my that's my firm belief. So I have five spreads on this one missionary. That's gonna get me. That should be able to get me Machu. Once I get Machu, I can start dabbling with taking the Incas there, maybe taking their territory religiously. And um, after that, Hatutsa and Mainz should be fine. People are lazy on where they shut the fuck up, Peter. What do you do, dumb bitch? I got third rate fucking William Shakespeare looking ass. Shut up. All right, one turn, then we get Niter, or we discover where Niter is. Hopefully, we have some on our territory already. It'd be really nice if it was under our city or something like that. In case you didn't know, if you put a city on top of a strategic resource, you still gain the resource as if it's mine. Blast. Build in democracy. Nope, we didn't discover any, it seems like. Oh no, there's some like right outside our borders, so who gives a shit? That's good. That's fine. I can deal with that. Oh, I'm open my door again. That's good. We've got we've got two sources outside our borders. Like right out their borders, so it's good for now. Uh, drought and increased trade route capacity. So we can buy two traders. Or we can get two traders now. Crossbows is really nice. Or not crossbows, bombard units and stuff. But I wanna go with universities. Reform church. Strength. And all that theocracy. I don't think I give much of a shit about that right now. Want governor tile, build two markets. Go with the quad. What's government look like? What's what's the next big government that I want? Housing per level of walls? Not really. I don't really want the monarchy. Golden Law cities with an established governor. Kind of want that. Theocracy? I don't think I want because it's got two. It's only got one green. I think I want two greens. Religious strength in theological combat. 15% discount purchase with faith. I don't care about that right now. I think Merchant Republic, maybe. Or Theocracy. Uh, hold on. Maybe, maybe I do want... I definitely don't give a shit about monarchy. I definitely don't care about it. Actually, hold on. Maybe I do. I, mean, I do give a shit about monarchy. I changed my mind. I want monarchy. Where's monarchy? Monarchy. Because that wild card can be anything. I can put whatever the fuck I want there. Got the trade route must be built on the coast, Jason to the Look at that great lighthouse, bitch. 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 Fuck you. You're in my way. Get in my way. Are you done expanding? No. Alright. Uh, until 10 turns for you. Okay, that's not your next one, but that's fine. Takamatsu is doing alright, I think. I think that's a city that's going to grow quite nicely. I'd like to get a shrine in there, make it a religious hub. Since it's in like a... Is it the same reason I want Takamatsu to be religious is the same reason why I want Sendai to be religious. They're my northern push. Um, it's a lot less far for Takamatsu and Sendai to get to a city to convert than it is for Kyoto. I just get fucked over hard there by Quad? Or by galley, Jesus. Hmm. Who's a missionary? How's he doing? Thomas, there. All right. Good. 
Man, this volcano is like fucked up a lot of shit. All those dark spots is where volcano, like ash and all that shit spilt over. Got one more in this bad boy. Barbarian approaches. Well, Barbarian's about to get fucking whacked. Dumb bitch. Get out of here. Duh, 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 duh. Get out. By the way, I set up more than... Um, I set up five channels on the auto-host list. Um, just channels I either enjoy or think that the content is good and the distinction there is enjoy I watch think is good is I've been told pretty much what are you are you not breaking waves you're ghost fish you've left me no choice you're ghost fish over here aren't you I would bribe you but I, I really don't want to do that right now Trade route plundered, fucking fat fucking cows, you fucking bitch. Claim my great person. Scientists, your boy. Your boy the scientist man. E here. Get that merchant. It is the mark of an educated mark. Do I just fucking do it anyways? Just get the fucking merchant. Bada boom, baby. Do that. Prayers of the faithful are answered. Zhang Quang appears to change the destiny of Japan. That's... I hope I pronounced that right. You know, I honestly... Like, this is not even a joke. Like, I know people say this all the fucking time. But, like, I'm dead serious. I wish I knew more languages. I wish that learning languages came easy to me. It really doesn't. I have huge, huge fucking issues with learning language. Um, my, my, my English has issues already, and I think that's because of certain, I learned French pretty much before I learned English, and, um, considering the fact that you guys never hear me speak French, I think that is good enough of an explanation for why I have trouble with language. Um, yeah, really, that's it. You fucking cow. Really? Wow, holy shit. That fucked me up. That converted Hatuta and mains all in one fucking go with that single fucker. That's crazy. What did I do? what did I fuck up on? Why were these guys what was Holy shit. Break isn't Breaking Wave dead or was supposed to be dead? Didn't they say he was dead? What the fuck is Breaking Wave? Listen, ghost fish, you dumb bitch. Get out of my fucking way. 120. Fuck off, you fucking cow. Piss off. Get out of here. You planted my fucking trade routes, you bitch. Must be on a completed commercial hub. Well, I don't have that. I don't think I have that anywhere. Maybe. No, I don't. I don't have that anywhere. I'm gonna go double check though in the other city. Boom. Out of boom, baby. Alright. Alright. How we doing? How we doing? How you doing? Religious victory. We're doing poorly because we just got fucked a bit here. Diplomatic victory. Domination. We haven't taken the city, so how could we really be winning? Technology research 34.27. Not too bad, but. Fuck you. Why are you talking to Hatuta like that, dude? You just declared peace with them. You literally just want it so that they're out of the fucking way when he gets all fucking stinky and starts trying to invade them.
Hit Buenos Aires, do your shit. I believe in you. Need trade rate. I need trade rates. I need trade. I need trade routes. It's expensive. Fuck it out. Okay, I need to get that mask. That mask. I need to get the mask. The moscus. Mask. So now it's gonna be twelve. It's gonna be the level twelve. It's pretty nice. It's crazy. My second city always does better than my first. I don't think I've ever had a game where my first city ends up being my largest city. I'm legitimately thinking, I don't think I've ever had that happen where my first has been my largest. Takamatsu is slowly making a threat towards being larger than Kyoto. So, who knows there? Look at that, completed that bullshit. Need of walls. Those walls should help me a little bit. I need to build two temples. So Hamburg's been converted. So is Mainz. All right, that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> so yeah, Germany's plan here is to take to settle Hamburg, and then attack Hatutza and have Hamburg and Hatutza share resources. But look at the size of Hatutza. They have fucking iron and niter. Neither this one is being mine, mind you, but... Issue. Actually, we should be friends with them. We should try our best to be their friends and then go in and mine it for them. Actually, it might not be a bad idea. If we can do it. Need to be a population of ten or higher. You fucking bitch! What the fuck? Uh, oh, Hatsuta is like someone else has grabbed that bitch by the horns already. At a, a ten, Pachu Incas, I guess. I really want to declare war on Germany just so Hamburg can get fucked up here by Buenos Aires. But I really don't want to disturb what's going on with them, you know? I don't want to make Gamu feel the need to run forward. I like having this small pocket military that isn't my own, but it's good enough that I can feel safe with them around. As long as they're my allies, I can feel safe. But the fact that there's some other bitch in there, Norway's got in there. Norway's trying to stick their fucking fat, grotesque... I don't know if I'm allowed to say the next word. I don't know how descriptive you can be with describing a, a disgusting cock on Twitch. The sentence structure wasn't connected there, that's why I wasn't worried. I conclude then this point. Monarch, upon the thank you. I'm gonna build a guru now. But I don't want to. I want. I want my I want my bit back. I want my fucking my mask. All right, go explore. Reform church, theocracy, and all that other shit. I don't give a shit about that. Civil service, go with that. Go on green. Go on green. Not my fucking samurai. I could build a samurai for shits and giggles, but I won't. A little bit of the holy site, though, I think. Can I get a holy site that's more than plus one, please? Fucking bitch. What? Why? Why is it only plus one everywhere? Fuck it. New government, monarchy. Yeah, but that would do. Dog day. All right, um, let's see. Unit maintenance reduced by one, obviously. All improved horses and iron resources yield plus one. Hmm, it's all right. 
Loyalty per turn for cities with a garrison unit. Pretty good. Uh, defense strength and city range strength. 50% discount. Let's go with that one. Um, we got 100% holy site adjacency bonuses. That's all right. Great writer points. It's not bad. Plus loyalty per turn. First envoy you sent to Constance 1. International. Trade routes. Housing all cities with at least two specialty districts. Go from trade routes. We don't have any trade routes done. Uh, this would mean builders would have five actions. That's crazy. All cities of this district receive plus one housing, plus one amenity. It's pretty good. However, I want to inspire some artists, uh, some writers, and some scientists. So that my gold is now at 16 per turn. I should the 4.2. It's nearly 17, which is good. Oh, I'm reduce. A bunch of our fucking unit maintenance, which means we can build even more units. Because we survived for so long on fucking four gold per turn, so it doesn't fucking matter. Saying Quinn here. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I think it was in this name, Zhang. I don't know if you, I don't think you pronounce the H. And Quinn, 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 I'm not sure. Increase the trader capacity by one foreign trade routes to the city, provide plus two gold to both cities. So, and I need to get shit on the move here. I need to get stuff on the groove in the move. 80, let's upgrade you. I'm gonna do that. That's why not. You become a samurai at 80. Ooh. With that two gold, it went down by two gold just up here, that bitch little crossbow. So since instead of 16 gold per turn, we're now at 14 already. That's an expensive fucking crossbow. How can you let us buy it? Shut the fuck up, dude. I hate these fucking comments. They make me so fucking angry. Every time I get stupid comments like that. I'm Gorgo, Queen of Sparta. Howdy, how do you do? Here's the thing that I feel like a lot of people don't know. It just feels like one of those things that's so stupid to not realize. Or today I was X years old when I realized that howdy is an abbreviation for how do you do. No, that's that's actually truth. That's fact. By the gods, that's a lot of fucking boats. Jesus. Oh, these are frigates. Okay, get the fuck out of there. That is not something I want to deal with right now. Nor can I actually physically deal with. Okay, you need to fuck off with your stupid apostles here, bitch. Get out of here. Oh, I need that promotion for you badly. I need a governor promotion. I need a fucking governor. No. I knew that was gonna happen. He's fucking dead. He died. There's th two frigates. Remember how I mentioned before that if there was one frigate, I would have shat myself. I've soiled myself already. What's the world climate like? No one's producing anything, right? Yet? Okay. Good. Good. We're in. We're in. We're in the green. We're in the money. Look at that shit. How's that look, bitch? Suck my fucking candy cane nuts. Just need. What I really, really need. What I really, really want. Um, no, I need to fucking get an upgrade here. She's an unprotected friend. Like, this is what fucking annoys me. That boat just fucking died. I can't produce a boat in one turn, nor can he. So, why is he up my ass about this shit? I don't need open borders. We're so far away. Even you, as a shitty, stupid fucking AI, 
should know how fucking stupid that is. Fine. Take your two fucking gold, rub them together, stick them up your ass. Fuck you. I don't. It's my one pep peeve with this game is AI being more human <laughs> in a way. They're able to converse more than actual the actual player, which I think is a really is probably a terrible game design. I think there are actively teachers who tell you to do the opposite of that. Who actively um, prevent you from doing that. Alright, we need the governor. We need this shit right now. We need this. That right there. Hoo boy. Alright, so we get the university here soon. I'm gonna build some other shit there, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to figure some shit out. We need to start converting cities again, because I don't like how close Catholicism is getting to Sendai. It's getting me, it's making me nervous. I'm gonna shit. Okay, Buenos Aires is still Buenos Aires with, um, it's not still Buenos Aires, not what I meant to say. It still has Buddhism, which is good. I need to convert Hamburg. I need to convert Atutza. Once I convert those two pricks, then going back towards Machu with a greater army will be good. They're having a rebellious issue here, which is good for me, not for them. All right, Sendai, can you get me a missionary or something? 120. Ah, oh, we're close, we're close. All right, complete that quest. Ooh, look at this, Government Plaza. Did my favorite, leveraging city-states cost half gold. City-state units gain plus four combat strength. All spy operations have a higher chance of success. Grants the ability to buy land units with faith. Pillaging improvements in districts provide bonus faith. Okay, so pillaging shit. Yeah, I'm never gonna pillage shit. But it does give me faith. It gives me plus five faith right now. Spy would be all right. This gives me three diplomatic favor. Hmm. I can leverage city states. That would that would give me a fucking army and a half. All right, fuck it. Let's go with that. Let's be a bad bitch and fucking try and just grab as many city states as I said before and just fucking, you know, at one point just grab their military by its fucking balls and just burn the fields of other people with them. Oh, that would be so nice if we could get like a shitload of city states on our side. And just start burning fucking fields. Candy's gonna be a little bit better, I think, when global warming t like t kicks in, because a bunch of this ice is all gonna fucking melt away. So they'll be able to start fucking moving a little bit better. I don't know what they're doing, but they might be able to do something. They might be able to make a play. You know, they might be able to fucking make a play. Right? Fuck you, you stupid dickheads. Heal itself. Do I wait for an apostle? Do I wait for an apostle? I think I wait for an apostle. I'll wait for an apostle. Because apostle has uh, a bit more pressure, I believe. A bit stronger. What by right do you impose your political agenda on my servant civilization? Suck my... Fuck you! What do you mean impose on you? Where am I imposing on you? In trade? What the fuck? What do you mean that? How am I imposing on you politically? You're, st you're not even Buddhist. Am I even imposing any religious values on you? Fuck off. Incas are now sticking their fucking dirty fingers in Gamu. Pricks. 
That's my place. I told you. I knew it. Fucking Gamu was going to be... Everyone's going to try and grab it and use that as like, oh, look, it's right in the fucking center of everything. And so the AI is just like, grab it and someone. then use it to attack everything else. That's their plan. Their plan is to fuck me. Like, continuously. By grabbing Gamu and Ares. Also, what, what the fuck happened to the whole giving money to city-state system that was in Civ Five? What happened? Why is it not here anymore? Seems fucking stupid to me. Because right now, I would kill to give Buenos Aires more money here to improve their military or gift them some units if I could so they could continue this fucking war of attrition with Hamburg and Atutza. Is anything to keep Hatutza out of fucking German hands? I don't know. I don't know. If, if Hatutza gets captured by Germany, I might step in and try and recapture it. Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it, for sure. Because they were my fucking buddy at one point. They were my fucking amigo. I feel bad for them just sitting there with a fucking pike shot, shooting off cursors and fucking crossbows. Also, I don't feel bad too much, because I got a Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia. Ugh, look at that. It's still nowhere for you to go, eh? 80 gold to make you into a samurai. Do that for samurai. Bitch. Look at that. Let's do that here too. I wanna I wanna tell everyone to not fuck with me in the most volatile way possible. Okay, I could get trade routes right now, but I could also just start work on a commercial hub. Or if I put it here, fuck it. Why wouldn't I put it there? Okay, I could build that temple. Let's do it. Let's do it. So close to a golden age. I, I could probably do it. I could probably get to a golden age. Next era is what? It's Renaissance, so industrial era is next. So what's next? I don't know. I can't help but only think of painting because I think of Renaissance era. And I know so much more in the world happened at that point, but stupid fucking Western history. Just a bunch of dickheads with paintbrushes. I personally don't really care for. Uh, maybe it's because I've seen a lot of it, but I, I don't really like. Um, I mentioned it on podcasts before, actually. I don't care too much about, um, like, I understand the importance. Let me get that straight first before I fucking say my next point. I understand the importance of Renaissance paintings. Oh, shit. All right, so I get all their discoveries and everything. I found Atlantis, it said... Fez, holy shit. All right, they did a whole lot of ex exploring. That is good. That See, this is, like, I'm just a temporary friend right now, really, if you think about it. But, by golly, look at all the shit that I've discovered. I'm just making friends with these one pricks. Representative Fez, Mandal, Mokadishu, all that, all these bitches, look at them. Holy shit, I think I found every city state in the game now. I get two on influence points at 100. Alright, cool. That's good. We're still friends, right? Yes. That looks cool. Look at how fucking many city states there are now. Uh, Gorgo has made friends with a bunch of people. Geneva and Preslab are still unopened. 
Oh no, Geneva's been touched a little bit. You can tell because they're at four. So I want to grab Candy and then Preslav. And then fuck around with the other ones that have already been touched. The problem with fucking around with the other ones um, is I'm going to be in a competition of Envoy points with them, which is not, maybe not, not going to be an issue as I gain more and more points towards shit, but it does become a point of, like, how many turns are left in the game. Like, you know, like, I can't generate that many envoys, or my, because of the order of turns as a player, and then AI, I go first, they go second. So, if it's, like, if I'm only making one dent in envoy score, like, if if I go from three to four, and it's mine on four, they can just buy it at five, you know. So, you gotta be careful from here on words. Fossil, please. Thank you. I don't know. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, I've mentioned this in podcasts before, but I don't care for Renaissance art. I've seen a lot of it. That might be the reason why. I really, really, really enjoy Romanticism art. And in case you haven't seen it, I also, like, really enjoy Retro Futurism and certain stuff of the early 1920s and then... 70s 80s kind of some stuff is interesting there i think there's there's a line where it starts to be interesting when it gets become a little bit excessive uh regardless i enjoy romanticism quite a bit because it's the whole like absence of humanity which i think All that is kind of something is that's really gold. it feels very modern maybe in my opinion okay i can launch an inquisition or i can evangelize again Oh, what do I do? I think I'm gonna evangelize again. Bitch, look at that. Theocracy. Do, 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 do. Extra faith from buildings and holy sites plus 50% if city population is 50% or higher. Nowhere near that. Um, all right, humanism. Privateer. Go to naval tradition for now. You, good sir. Do you want to build a Colossus? I'm going to do that. Shits and giggles, build the fucking Colossus as well as the fucking lighthouse that we built. Look at this. Alright. Religious unity. That's what I want, baby. Theologians clarify the tenets of Buddhism and its belief. Three era score. We're at a golden age next turn. Next era. And now we can promote this bitch. City ignores religious pressure from religions not founded by the governor's player. Gain faith equal 20% of the construction costs from finishing buildings. Bitch, look at that. Apostles and warrior monks train the city receive plus one extra era uh, receive one extra promotions when receiving the first promotions. Allow the city to produce, purchase districts of faith. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can do it again, though. I said I can pick someone else. That's more interesting. Back. Or. Or. Look at this. I could be a total bad bitch and try and buy another, get another governor somewhere. Okay, th she might actually be good for the other, other city. Hmm. Amani might be nice to put somewhere. Or do I... Fuck it, I'm gonna appoint her to Takamatsu. I think it's a good idea to have a governor in every city. Although I'm playing the city-state game here, I think... I think it's still a good idea. Okay, so I know everyone but one prick. There's one asshole somewhere in the world that I have not met. But he sucks ass. There's two, actually. There's two that I haven't met somehow. Where have I yielded? What are you fucking talking about yielding? 
the fuck are you on about? I need to mine this niter. I need to build it as soon. Hmm. Missionary, yes, sir. I'm gonna have our temple in Takamatsu soon. I'm gonna have our commercial club soon. It's going well. This is actually, I think, is a really good game. And I will remind you, we are on Emperor difficulty. I think the reason why I was having so much trouble with the previous games, it was just too much, too big. I was competing with land and shit like that so early in the game. I, right now, I have so much, I have a little bit more freedom. I know I'm surrounded by fucking city-states and... Expansion-wise, I'm kind of fucked now to go towards Inca, but it's a turn 120. If you're still expanding at this point, f fucking hell, like, a bit late there. All right, I met China, and they're going to be a fucking prissy bitch now towards me as I start making schmoves towards making, uh, towards making world wonders. Come on, leave Fatuta alone, you bitch. Leave her alone. Missionaries and apostles. No, you need you need other shit now. You're you're getting old. All right, let's think about this. What's good for you? Nyang, what do you do? Production cuts towards constructing districts, aquaculture. So she's just like a fucking cool lady. She just does a bunch of shit. So let's get an industrial zone here, actually. Forest? I don't give a shit about the woods. Get rid of it. So hopefully we can establish a national park between Buenos Aires and Takamatsu in this big fucking open area that's between us. That I'm looking at it's in the center of my screen. I always forget that you guys can't see my fucking mouse and it annoys the piss out of me. Because sometimes I'll, I'll point something by doing that. But you guys can't see it, so it's fucking pointless. Ironically enough. Get the commercial hub next turn, which is going to be useful because I have the great merchant that's just been sitting on his fucking ass doing nothing. We get a great admiral soon. Get a great writer soon, maybe. I'd like to get a great artist soon as well. Uh, but I guess that's going to have to wait. It's three turns until the end of the era. That's good. There's first commercial hub. Bitch. Amphitheater, citizen slot, great works, writing slots. Let's get the amphitheater out of the way first. Whoa, look at that. Oh yeah, we got our, our trader capacity so large now. We, we, we need to do something there. We need to fucking work towards this shit. 125 to convert you, Jesus Christ. Not convert you, to fucking upgrade you. It's a lot. That's a lot. Uh, man, dude says really gonna die, eh? It's not healing. Oh, and it's been converted. That's gonna be easier. Oh, you wanna give me equal niter for equal iron? No. Because I'm not gonna have any need for it in a little bit. Because I have two sources of it. Unmined sources, but still i still have them i don't know why you would the i must not recognize online sources or something what is gamba doing man jerusalem's meaty and it's always been meaty but Where's their fucking boats, man? There is Come on. Man has made that's a, a good navy is not a provocation. Where's your fucking boats? Okay, my trader capacity needs fucking boats. I need boats. 
Not boats. I need trade. I need trade routes. I need fucking traders. I need to do shit here. All naval and embark units can navigate ocean tiles. Let's go with that shit. Mercantilism will give me a private tier. Bunch of other shit. Night and coal. It's not bad. Light mint will give me amenities. Tumor fixer have versus your civilization. Let's go with enlightenment then. And here are my envoys that I can select and pick through shit. Yeah, Hatsuts has been picked. I could get candy right now. Let's take candy. Oh no, I can't. Uh, one. I thought I got two influence points here. Whoops. Well, we're pretty close to getting candy. Only a few more turns. Some other shit. We will get there soon enough. <laughs> One problem with being as over the line for error score as we are right now is um, also think about the fact that we didn't convert any Banner Brunei. No, who took Banner Brunei for me? Who took Banner Brunei? Harold, obviously. Dick. Whatever. I already got what I wanted out of them. I, I've discovered pretty much the fucking world from them, so I don't give a shit. Production towards building in this district. Uh, holy sight. New districts built by this player act as culture bombs. Me. That one gets all the votes. This one gets all the votes too. Fuck you. Try and beat that, you dicks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I won the second one. That's good. So all my shit acts as culture bombs, so that's nice. I get my governors established, I get my diplomatic victory point, which puts me still under someone. Alright. I've earned a great writer, and I'm close to earning a great admiral. You really don't have Oh, go here. Run, little fella, run. Speaking of writing, I wonder how literature has suffered during the pandemic. I'm not going to talk about that fucking... All the dumb shit about fake news and how it spreads online and how AI is ruining shit. Um, I think people... Were, don't see very clearly when it comes to AI. They just see evil intent as humanity is always seeing new things. I think with like AI generated art, for example, something that should directly impact me, to me, it just seems like another aesthetic. Like, yeah, uh, an AI can generate all this crazy shit that like you had to go to a specialty art artist for or whatever, you know, but again, like, there was always competition in that fucking market. There will always be new innovations and everything to outbeat the old fuckers that were there before. You know, like, I'm sure traditional artists feel like fucking dickheads. Because they have to sit and watch all of us use fucking Photoshop and shit. Uh, hold on. Unlock a special cost of belly which generates 75% less grievances in form of war and can be used immediately after announcing the target. Heartbeat of steam, golden age, temper sucks production towards industrial era and later wonders, campus districts, science and JC bonuses provide production as well. New traders cannot be plundered. International traders provide plus one gold. I like that one. 
plus three starting population of your city settled on a different continent than your first city, plus two movement for naval and embarked units, plus two loyalty per turn for cities not in your original capital. I don't give a shit about that. So let's go with these ones then. A what? I can only make one. RP esteem, I guess. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I can only make one. I guess there's no drawbacks on any of these. All right, um, for you, for you, my dear boy, uh, let's build that watermill finally. Let's get that the fuck out of the way. Ah, uh, I keep forgetting about trades, but we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll we'll get trades together at some point. We have to, because we can't keep dicking around like this all the time. But yeah, um, with AI generated art, I personally feel like it's just going to be an aesthetic, like it's um a type of art Thus rather than. Necessary to uh rather than it replacing art as a whole you know again to go back to the romanticism stuff it would be like that we have renaissance paintings and romanticism paintings you have human art and you have ai art you know and ai art will always and forever need human art it will need a pool of shit to pull from as art does as a whole. If it keeps pulling off of, its, off of itself, it will develop a, a unique culture that only makes sense to the, the AI. You know, if like the AI only used AI-generated art to make more AI-generated art, there would be a culture imbued within the art that only the AI would understand, as current human art does. I think all fucking existential and all you guys, but yeah, I, I personally, I mean, maybe there is a bit of worry to some degree for some people, but I, I think it's over exaggerated. I think writing is also a, a similar thing. Like, it does you, you might replace some jobs, but again, you're not getting like there's the human aspect should be the driving reason that you would hire humans to do human work you know eventually we'll have to get there will it be tomorrow probably not but eventually we'll have to get to a point where the human part matters more than the work itself like we have to get to a point where culture and aesthetic matter more in my mind, an AI-generated world with so much AI and everything will have to be a world that's overpopulated, uh, not overpopulated, oversaturated with culture and art. There's nothing else to do, you know. Your so. opinions are always suspect. Feds, Tutsa. Let's go to Hatutsa first because it's closer. I can purchase another missionary. Get another missionary out. Start burning some bad bitches. All right. Well, good sir, you can start doing stuff again, can you? Entertainment complex. No, nah, you don't need that. Theater Square or a holy site? I think a Theater Square is what I want more. Fuck the sheep. Here are the sheep. I don't give a shit about them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Alright, let's go for that market. We got one trader out. I, I, that's why I'm not doing anything right now. Candy. Let's grab you. Uh, who else did I lose? Did I lose someone? to like just four or something like that? No, doesn't seem like at least. No, I lost Buenos Aires, right? Oh, but I got her back, all right. Um, let's go for, where's Press Lab? I want a Press Lab. There you go, let's grab him. There you go, oh, Candy's my bitch.
Where's Candy? There you are. Yeah, you're kind of just not doing anything, really. Just boats. So, yeah, I mean, that's why I personally think about like, all the AI shit, but... I, I explicitly for the one who um, believe that Elon Musk is overplaying it. Um, but I, th I don't know why. I think he's overplaying it because he's thinking of only negatives or so. Like He's not thinking what society would do to evolve around AI rather than... I feel the biggest problem is that people don't put human into their theories of AI. Like they don't think about how like AI just doesn't done. Like AI and humans evolve at the same time. Like they we we have to go together. We blend. AI is an extension of humanity. It's an extension of ourselves because we created it. You know. Not all who as much wander. in religion as humanity is an extension of God. You know, it's kind of the same thing. In a certain sense, I suppose. Am I dying by standing here in this fucking pool of muck? Oh, I don't need to keep converting this place. It's already been done. Um, let's go to the bank and everything. Great person when I get an admiral. Uh, everything else is a little bit off. Insulin creates a privateer unit with one promotion level. Military units get plus 50 rewards for plundering sea traders. Nice. Goal from naval victories. Go with that one. I hate Twitter. I think Twitter is, it breeds all these like crazy ideologies and crazy people because of the, the cap on, on, um, on the, what you can say. Not, um, not talking about freedom of speech here. I'm talking about, um, the actual word count itself. I think that is the core issue of why you can um, constantly see people complain about Twitter being fucking like a cesspool. It's because it, I don't think it actually is. I think that there's a lot of shit lost in translation. Like people aren't able to accurately describe what they're saying because everything just seems mean spirited or fucked up or something seems twisted and the wrong words are used all the fucking time. That's the reason why I hate text as well. I hate fucking online speaking to people. I hate that shit so fucking much. It's devoid of emotion. It's devoid of personality, tone. No one, like, you can't write a fucking novel. The reason why books work is because there's context. There's words that imply upon each other. But with text, it's individualized paragraphs and sentences and their own individual structures formatted per text you know what's implied in one text um, emotionally it doesn't Have automatically translate to an emotion applied in the next text you know one text be happy but then the next text is a separation of ideas it's not the same thing so it could equally be could be rude for example whatever you know I don't know. So my personal pet peeves about the internet is that shit. 
So I don't. Why is sticking the VC in my Discord all the fucking time? Because if people want to talk to me, talk to me. And why I don't usually answer texts when people text me. I'm one of those people. A prick. That's what they call me. Why has Hamburg been converted? Who the fuck is doing this shit? Whatever. There's too much pressure. Religious pressure everywhere else. It won't matter in time. Is Hamburg falling apart or did it never have walls? Pretty sure it did. I was looking at it being confused about it. Sh uh, no, I'll vote one yes. I'll vote one yes. I don't give a shit. There you go. That way he doesn't get pissy with me. It's like, you didn't vote. You voted against it. That's the reason why it failed. That. Alright, passed. Only a couple people said no. All right, cool. And this is in case start a new shift and workers from time to steam to industrial zone. Purchase a mystery, a guru, all that fun shit. Great. All right, move on. Oh look, Hamburg's already been converted again. See, I told you you didn't need to worry about shit. Oh, there's there's this fucking prick up here though. Maybe I do need to worry about him a little bit. Maybe a little. I'll just keep moving, keep converting, just not giving a shit. Um, let's get that mosque up and running. You have to end the turn in the game soon. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. But, I mean, I've given a lot of opinions during today's stream about a, a bunch of different shit. I wonder. So the way the auto host. I should mention this because we're coming towards the end of the stream. The way the auto host list works, from my understanding, is Twitch picks one of the list of people that I put there as who's more appropriate for you to watch rather than just who's live. Because um, sometimes the live streams of these people conflict. Uh, conflict. Um, so should be good up and running. Let me know if there's any issues with the auto host, like shit doesn't show up or whatever. Because I, I really like to promote other people. I mean, I don't know how much promoting I'm actively doing, but the thought matters, I guess. Um, so hopefully I'm doing something here. Yeah, bitch. Oh, that workshop. All right, what's next for you? Um, maybe an encampment would be good for you. Build a shit in the desert, away from everyone else. I remember when there was a, a city-state, or barbarians there. All right, how are we doing? Still not leading. Uh, oh no, that's the wrong thing to look at. Where is religion? I've got seven converted cities. You're fucking me, right? I got seven. Pretty sure I have more than seven here. Uh, Hotuta fell already. All right, we're right done the stream there. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if the auto host works, please, or or tell me specifically if it doesn't actually. So I'd like to know. Uh, we have Finn, a uh, Finster, I have him there. Um, I'm naming the ones that are the most. No, we have Finster. We have the Yogscast in there, obviously. I've put Germa in there. I've put Poke, and I have put um, Soda Cat in there. I believe that's uh, his name on Twitch. Yeah. All right. So if you can, let me know if those worked. You know, go support as many people on Twitch as you can. Uh, it's good. I mean, we're not affiliate yet, so you can't do donations or f anything here, but follows matter. Um, and for those those other people, I think that that shit matters too. Anyways, I'll see you guys on Saturday. Um, we're going to try streaming through OBS, so there's probably going to be some technical issues, some things here and there. Um, I might try and if... I might try and just do a script recording stream where we just go over the scripts. 
and I'll just show you guys the process of recording scripts and show you that how like how to deal with errors and how to work with the scripts maybe uh, I think scripted content is really frowned on for stupid reasons on YouTube and a bunch of other places. I think scripts are important, and I feel like a lot of new YouTubers with that don't really understand that. Or people who don't have um, a level of education like mine don't understand how to write scripts, or don't have the path of education they have, I think is a more appropriate and less demeaning word to say. But yeah, um, we'll talk. We'll do scripts next stream on Saturday. I think um, I can't promise it'll be a two-hour stream because I have a lot to do on Saturday besides the stream. I've got homework and actual work to do. Um, hopefully, we will have a two-hour stream. Hopefully, I'll get most of this shit done before ten. Uh, it is going to be a ten to twelve p.m. stream EST, obviously being Eastern Standard Time. You can always see the schedule. Um, like I said, it might be subject to change starting next week. Uh, very, very much likely, uh, Tuesday will shift to Wednesday, um, and Saturday streams will permanently become shorter, but more experimental. We'll see how that goes. Um, maybe even shift Saturdays to Sundays sometimes, but I don't know. Uh, we'll think about it or I'll think about it and you guys let me know what you think as well. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you haven't already, please consider following. We're so close to affiliate. Um, Tell people about the stream, share the streams, clips, do all that shit. You know, engage with the platform. So I'm saying, that's good for me. It's good for us progressing as a as a community. Obviously, I am still working on more stuff for the Twitch, more um, graphics and stuff. I'd like to do. I really, really want to get a VTuber properly set up, but it's a lot of money and it's a lot of work. So it's gonna take a while. Um, hopefully we can do that together. Maybe even do a stream about it. Um, anyways, like I said, I'll see you on Saturday. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the week uh, and a healthy weekend. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye. I'm saying, shout out to my man Jippy man. I'm saying, I'm in the whip right now. One up. You had your earphones off. Oh, darn. You see? Darn technocracy. It's technocracy every time. We'll get you in the ears. Now it's my pleasure to denounce, I mean, to introduce. <clears throat>
Okay, say less. For them haters that think this shit ain't for real. Yeah.